guys. Today is October the 4th, our anniversary. We got married four years ago today, and it's a nice day here in St. Louis, just like on our wedding day. So, I am on my way to work. Um, I have about, uh, let's say, 30 minutes before I actually need to walk out the door and go to work. So, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys and let you know how I'm feeling today. Um, yesterday I, I uploaded my video on my big fat weight loss fail and I feel better today. I've been working out every day. Well, actually I've been walking every day this month. Every day this week. Sorry. Every day this week I've been faithfully walking and, um, you know, kind of mixing it up. Like one day I'll walk at a park where there's lots of hills Another day I'll go to the gym and speed walk. Another day I'll just walk at a park. Like there's a um, there's this park here that I like to walk at, and it's a four mile lake that you walk around the lake, and it's like four miles. So I usually I'll walk around that, and um, I've been doing that. Um, I've been eating good, right? When I say good, I mean eating right. This morning I made my husband and I up. Uh, anniversary breakfast, which was just an omelet, which I can eat since I'm on low carbs, but I also made cinnamon pancakes, so I don't know, I only ate two of them, so that's all the carbs I'll eat today, I won't eat any more carbs, so, oh well, what do you do, um, and I guess that's about it, but you know, is it weird that whenever I go walking, if there are deer, I'm scared of the deer? Like yesterday, I was walking at this park, and this deer was, I am not kidding, he was about three feet from me. I was just walking, listening to my MP3 player, minding my own business, and then this deer appeared, and he just stared at me. Well, see, I think somebody told me years ago that at this time of year, this is deer hunting season, and sometimes if it's a buck and he's in heat or something, then he'll charge you. He'll come after you. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, I've never been charged by a deer or chased or anything. They, they look harmless. They're cute. Make me think about Bambi. I don't know. But um, I was scared. So I, like, turned around and went the whole a whole different direction because I was afraid. But, um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me. I'm, I, I'm still motivated. I still feel good. You know, I feel like I don't have a choice. I feel like I have to stay motivated, you know, I have to stay on my weight loss journey, whether I gained or lost, you know, I don't have a choice, I'm not going backwards, you know, well, I went backwards, but I'm going back forward, so, but um, I wanted to show you guys this book that I've really been enjoying for the whole month of September, I was reading it, the name of it is A Lineage of Grace by Francine Rivers. It's a really good book. It's about the uh, five stories of unlikely women who changed eternity. And it's the five women that are in, um, that were the reason Jesus got here. Like they are in the in the genealogy line of Christ. So, it, I think the women are Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, Bathsheba, and Mary. And I just this book is like, you can't put it down. And, you know, I like to read, but it has to be a book that really grabs my attention, like the first page or else I can't read it. This book is awesome. Like, the way she wrote it, it's so good. It really is. You guys should go check this book out. It's good. It was like $13 at Barnes & Noble. I bought, I bought my mother-in-law a copy because she was trying to snag mine up or whatever. Okay, guys, well, anyway, um, that's all for today. Oh, um, my husband and I are talking about adopting a child out of foster care. That's another big thing that we've been, um, you know, talking about. I've already contacted the social worker here in St. Louis, and she sent us the paperwork that we need to fill out, you know, we have to get background checks, we have to get fingerprinted, we have to go through like a nine-week class or whatever, so we're talking about adopting a baby or a child, you know, it doesn't have to be a baby because I understand that the 
look, the older kids never get adopted out of the foster care. You know, they just they just grow up. And I think once you're 18, you get kicked out of foster care, which I think that sucks. That's horrible. Because I was nowhere near ready to be on my own at 18. I mean, I was in college, but still, I needed my mom and dad. So I think that's sad. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what's going on with me. And I am going to head off to work here in about 15 minutes. And I think I'll vlog at work. I'll try. All right, you guys, you have a great day, and again, it was a pleasure vlogging with you all. All right, bye. Okay, so getting back to what I was talking about earlier before I left home for work, um, comes one of our drivers. Anyway, um, foster care. We're really excited about adopting a child out of foster care because... Those poor kids, you know, there's so many kids in the foster care system, and I think that, you know, children are a blessing from God, and if you're able to have kids, you know, that's great. Your children are a blessing. And just because um, these kids are in foster care does not mean that they are not blessings from God. So if you're struggling with trying to have kids like my husband and I are, then adopt. You know, what's wrong with that? Just go ahead and adopt. So we are definitely looking forward uh, to doing that. There's so many people at my church that are foster parents that have adopted kids out of foster care, that have gone to different countries and adopted kids. Um, me personally, you know, I'm not saying I'm opposed to going out of the country and adopting children, but there's so many kids right here in the U.S. that are looking for um, home. So that's definitely what we are looking for. That's going to be a new... Oh gosh, new chapter of our life. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted, updated on that and stuff. Um, I'm here at work. It looks like it's gonna rain, and I left my dogs outside. Ugh, I hate that. I don't want to call home because my husband's sleeping because he doesn't have to be up until nine o'clock for work because he drives over the road through the night. So I just pray it doesn't rain before he wakes up. Okay, well, anyway, um, I'm kind of just rambling right now, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get off from here and prepare to go inside. Okay, guys, I will see you in a minute.